Maybe the rocket launcher takes off a bit too much health, because I'd like to be able to do it more often. Although, I guess if you're falling back to something like Quake, it wasn't- you weren't supposed to rocket jump around, it was more like an abuse thing. Oh, where, I, I could've sworn one of them had armor around it. I think that's the one. Yeah, there you go, see? Okay, now that I'm up here, now I get to go find the actual way you're supposed to come up here. Maybe this was it. Oh god. Okay, um, and also it just tried to switch me to a rocket launcher when I was out of ammo for this. Um, not something I'd actually want it to do. Especially if I was uh, a more panicked player. Uh, that could be a problem. Uh, I should probably switch it to a safer weapon. Uh, minor complaint. Oh, f don't tell me. Oh, good. Good, I, I still did it the right way. Phew. <laughs> Every time I go down, I see a platform. I'm like, oh god, did I just rock and jump for no reason? Alright. Oh, yeah, I did it again, by the way. But I didn't hurt myself. It, no splash damage. I'm wondering how I'm out of ammo for this. Looks like I could probably stand to use this weapon a bit more. I mean, I keep seeing ammo on the ground for it, so... Alright. Why, well, hello there. Oh, they have, like, little idle animations. That's great. Okay, so I can't go this way, so it's obviously one of these situations where I want to go into here. Okay, what do I do here? A button here. Okay, so that just inverted the. Okay, so there is a button to turn four fields off. I see. Which ones are down now? None of them. Okay, green ones are off now. What if I want to go into the blue stuff? Oh, I see. I can. Oh, a big robot. He was apparently twice my size. Oh, there's a spider behind me as well. I was wondering why I couldn't... I thought I was going into a wall or something. Alright, we'll just leave those guys be while I get my pots of gold. Um... Odd. I thought I would have to press that. Was I supposed to press that? I certainly hope not. Oh. Hmm. Well, you know, that's an interesting, uh, that's an interesting conclusion I can come to, is that I was actually supposed to press that, so let's, let's actually go do that right now. I mean, it cost me nothing but time. Oh, so I was actually supposed to press that. Okay, well, it's good I did that now. Oh, that's fine. It didn't look that, it didn't look that important, that's why I didn't think that, you know, I... But, like, it didn't feel like I made any progression at the same time. That's why I kind of decided to second-guess myself and go for it. Oh, hello, room we've been in. Uh, I think we've already been this... No, we haven't been this way. No, we have been that way. I mean, I, I figured it out, so I'm usually the worst at figuring things out. Okay, so we're pretty much... I could have rocket jumped up there and skipped this entire thing, actually. I didn't even notice that. Well, I think there's a force field up there before, that's why. I think this entire time, I've actually been pretty, pretty good about looking up, because I've been wanting to try out my rocket jumping skills. Alright. Oh. Hey, okay, I see stuff. I really hope they have a weapon like that later. I think I, I think I bugged the developer about that at one point. Because it needs to have some sort of high accuracy pinpoint laser 
rifle, or what I like to call them, is a railgun. Oh, hey. Uh, do I actually want to go up there? Oh. There's a, there's a, there's a button right there. Oh, maybe I wasn't, was supposed to do this, maybe not. No idea what that did. Well, we'll just, uh, we'll just let that be then. These guys are highly evasive. Ah! Oh boy. You know, I, I'm skeptical on using my rocket launcher for this situa- exact- oh, okay, no. Yeah, I, I have a- I have a limited amount of health right now. Uh, it's right now blinking at me. To tell me, uh... Alright. How much ammo am I uh, down to that? Oh, 31. Jeez, I'm just, I've been supposed to be using this, this uh, the entire time. I just haven't been. A lot of these big robots, too. Probably am cutting it a little bit close on the health factor. There we go. I really want to get health if if for nothing else but to remove the annoying red blinking thing. I could have sworn I was not that accurate. But maybe I was. Maybe I'm better than I thought. There you go. See? Whenever you need health, there's always some to give you or whatever. Alright. Nope, nothing else. Alright. Hop on our merry way. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. I'm dead. I can't exactly tell you what I was thinking there. That's it for this level. Ah, it's a lot of kills and I got all of them. But not all the secrets. And as you'd expect, not exactly under par. Well, it looks like that's the credits. And that's the uh, end of the uh, Let's Play of mine. So here you have all the uh, people involved in making the game. This game is uh, right now early access on Steam. I'll post a link once again in the uh, description below. If you want to pick it up, it's uh, $15. And uh, uh, if you ask me, a pretty good price. Uh, as I said, something that's uh, it's er still early on, but uh, you know, a lot, of, a lot of potential in here. And especially if you're uh, you know, I actually had a discussion about this at one point related to games such as this. And people, a lot of people these days complain about, you know, AA titles and how it's like, Oh, I don't want to play, you know, Call of Battlefield where I'm regenerating health and all that. I hate those games and stuff like that. And, and I've always maintained, I said, those games aren't for you. They're for, you know, kind of mainstream audiences and, and where... The, the, the people who'd be interested in a game like this are kind of like a, a niche market uh, right now because that's the way kind of like it's kind of a nostalgic feeling and things like that for games like this and um, it's not to say this market is small uh, it's huge and it's been been uh, neglected and so I think they got a really good thing going here and you know I like that, that's it that, that's just it He's, they're positioning themselves in such a way that they're not Competing directly with uh, games pandered to like the, the the mainstream per se, but they're definitely positioning themselves for, as I said, the people who like the old school shooters, who like the rocket jumping, railgun, shotgun, pistol, action kind of thing. And I, I would definitely put myself into that kind of group, and I'm, that's why I've been so interested in this game and to see its uh, see its development. It's definitely heading in such a wonderful direction. I'm I'm very pleased uh, with what I see here, and 
I, w I would recommend it to you. Um, and that's... Yeah, that's that's basically it. If not just for what you saw, because um, as I said, it's not finished yet, but for the potential people making modded content for it. Because uh, I, I, I could predict that there's going to be a lot of people making some their own levels and things like that. And it, it would add a lot of value to the game if, if it went in the direction of like multiplayer. I mean, like I could nitpick on things like uh, how the weapons feel and, you know, like, uh, as I said, but the things like that, uh, the th to, to things like that, it's, it's not complete. Uh, and that's the perspective I'm looking at it from. And I'm, and I'm saying that, like, you know, things like co-op fun and, and all that kind of stuff would be good. The level design, um, I would say is good. Uh, some, some of the secrets I thought were, were pretty interesting. Um, although usually I'm not the one to n necessarily find the secrets, so the fact I found them, uh, I didn't, well, I didn't find all of them though, so, you know, I'll, I'll give that, I'll give that to, I'll give that credit to, uh, the level design for that. I do think though, a couple of times, um, things went into basically a parallel path, so there'd be two directions to go and it would branch off, and then there'd be like, the same enemies, they're, they're practically, just kind of place like, uh, there's a robot, there's a robot. And so the minute I go around the other corner expecting it to be something a little different, uh, it's, it's the same thing. And the same power-ups and the same placement. And as I said, once again, I think it comes into a lot of the OCD while making this stuff. It's like, I want to make the game have branching paths. Um, but, you know, and like you're wondering what to put in there. It's like, oh, I'll just, I'll put the same stuff in there. Cause like, I don't know why, but I, I guess, I guess it doesn't occur to you that the player is going to explore every nook and cranny, but we will exp explore every nook and cranny. And so we're going to go to the other side and find the exact same thing. So I think it would be more interesting if the paths were more varied. I, I, I think I saw that a little bit too much. Uh, but these, all these complaints I'm, I'm putting right now forward are very minor. I think it's actually really, really good, this game. Uh, I think it's really well done. A lot of effort and talent uh, went into this. and. I, I, I can't wait to see more. Um, and as I said, anything I say, it's not something that can be improved, like, it can be improved later. Or, you know, as I said, I don't really have to care about the level design necessarily that the guy made of this, because uh, other people will make the maps as well, to, to, just to take that into account. But yeah, I, I, I have had, like, I really like the level designs, though, since they were, for the most part, uh, non-linear and non-predictable, and that's that's what I that's what I want to see more of. Is I want I, I want to see it uh, branch off and you know potentially go in like you know lots of lots of interesting directions things like that. Uh, if you make it too complicated, you may have to make uh, a map. And I wasn't always clear on where to go, which could bring in those two problems because um, I was backtracking once or twice throughout this playthrough because I I hadn't I didn't know where I was going. Um, so, I guess that's something to take into account too. Like, it's just a, even a matter of just blocking the player off from, like, uh, I think it was this, the fourth level. I was going back through the crushers and I died there. But, like, I went, like, I went back on my own there and I realized that that wasn't actually the way to go. And the reason that tipped me off is because there was no enemies there. So, um, but I, on the other hand, if I say that then, uh, if we, if we do that, then it's gonna become more linear then. So, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah. It, it, it's it's really up to it really up to you but I think at, at the very least it should be uh, you know maybe there's some arrows or something pointing to where I where I have to go that would be good too um, but as I said minor complaints uh, I think it's a I think it's a really good game and uh, I I highly recommend you guys check it out at least follow it uh, and uh, actually post your comments uh, and tell and say what you thought about the game because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna forward this to the dev and I'm gonna let him know what you guys thought as well uh, while you're watching me so uh, yeah so go ahead and uh, post what you thought of the game and uh, I, I hope you liked it and my longest kill chain was 16 and stay tuned for more guys <laughs>